Hey, people. We have one British Piers Moore is his name, I suggest. So for those that reasons, I also I've pledged to go also, vegan. Also, you'll go vegan. I'm Imagine go how vegan. much that's going to annoy I'm you. I'm going to go vegan for a week. He got also plant-based, actually. He goes not vegan because veganism is a moral imperative. It is a philosophy. And I think he don't can even gasp it because she is pretty stupid. He is an annoying troll. I'm going to go vegan for a week if we win, which could actually kill me. And he have no neck. He is fat, lazy, sloppy. And so are his excuses against veganism. A more vegan-based diet. Yeah. But they hate this kind of vegan terrorism that's going uh, on. Take the vegans out of the is, picture. Milk is murder. Take the vegans that's out of the picture. Thing to say. It's about the animals. Are you against animal cruelty? I'm against them. Of course. Of course. They it's just enjoy handing over part. a check, slaughtering great animals, it's and bringing them back as a trophy, and posing for their gut wrenching pictures. If you look at what. And to kill animals. Really? Are we in a great position to just yeah. select which animals are sacred for us culturally? My Veganism is not a diet. And we have to remember people of this, fellow vegans. Veganism is a philosophy, a way of life. Vegans don't just eat animal, other animals because animals, products or animal body parts are terrible for our health. These are the top 15 causes of death, the top 15 reasons Americans die. And a plant-based diet can help prevent nearly all of them, can help treat more than half of them, right? and in some cases even reverse the progression of disease, including our top three killers. Right? Now, there are drugs that can help too. Right? You can take one drug to treat uh, cholesterol every day for the rest of your life, another drug for blood sugars, uh, a few more pills for, uh, for, your, for your blood pressure. The same diet, though, does it all, right? It's not like, you know, one diet for this and then a different diet for this, right? One diet to rule them all. Vegans do this because it is unnecessary and cruel to innocent living beings. Animals are not on this planet for our entertainment, food clone, food choices or clothing. They are on this planet for their own reasons. Like women are not on this planet for white cis or black cis meals. They are on this planet for their own, for their own reason. Let them alone. Treat them fairly, like the way you want to be treated. Because if you ask me, if you treat animals unrespectfully, why should you expect then that others who care about those animals treat you with respect or decency? Can you understand this? You don't deserve rights just because you belong to the same species. That is speciesism. That's anthropocentrism. Anthropocentrism is like uh, white supremacism in regards to racism. You have then the upper classes of the form of discrimination. You have white supremacism uh, when it comes with white people discriminating against black people. And then you have the lower where and that's racism. And then you have, spe you have anthropocentrism. And then you have the one of the under categories of anthropocentrism is speciesism. And other is um, carnism. Veganism is, on the other hand, an as more an aspect of biocentrism because 
we don't look things in one high hierarchy. At least not the way I look to it. That's not how I look to it. I don't think a species have more fire be just because it is more salaries. I look at more from one earth perception. In that regard, phytoplankton are one of the most important things on the planet. Because phytoplankton are responsible for 70% of all the oxygen on the planet. I think uh, insects are also very important. Because without insects, pollinators, etc. We get a whole shit health <laughs> destructive um, planet. Without cleaners, like snails and beetles, we uh, get everywhere shit from the animals. The, the beetles and snails and etc. All the other cleaners are cleaning up the ground. Pollinators are pollinating the plants, the flowers of the plants, so that grows. They're very important for the ecosystem. So I don't uh, find it okay when people intentionally harm insects. Specifically, it is not necessary. Always, you have to remember, there is a, di a large difference between intentional costing suffering and unintentional. When you pay for people to harm animals in a slaughterhouse, or you shoot one deer yourself, you're costing intentional suffering. When you step on an ant on the ground, I suggest most people do that not intentional. At least, I think not. So understand you what I mean with this? The attention is also uh, sometimes important. When I see well, a spider, I don't smash them. I take them, uh, if there is a, not a toxic spider, uh, on my hand, and I place them on the tree, outside of my house. When it is a well, toxic spider, and I've been in a climate where there are toxic spider, I take... Uh, I put my hands to, on my fast and do and put a spider zoo where I, I uh, take one bottle and let him slowly walk in it. But I don't uh, try to uh, let the spider be uh, terrified by me. Imagine you are a spider and you are so so little critter, and then you. As a large um, naked ape, come to the spider. The spider thinks, "What a giant! What a incredible! What a creepy giant! <laughs> I want to smash me! I want to smash me! Oh, where I can escape!" <laughs> Place yourself in the position of that uh, critter. Try it for a chance. If you are afraid for spiders, the spider is far more afraid of you.